as well. Let's talk about the Buffalo Bills and their handicapping odds. The Buffalo Bills are coming off a season yet again where they went far in the playoffs and they kind of ran into their favorite buzzsaw, the Buffalo, uh, sorry, the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs just have the number of the, well, not just the Buffalo Bills, of the NFL in general. Kind of feel bad for Buffalo. You all know the story. You know how many times they made the Super Bowl in the 90s. You know how many times they made the playoffs here in the last few seasons. The Buffalo Bills just can't seem to get over the hump. But let's talk about the Buffalo Bills as far as what it goes with their betting odds and things like this. All right, division winner. Of course, like we cannot get the division winner going here. Here we go. Division winner, AFC East, Buffalo Bills, plus 180. There is zero, zero value in that you know, i'm not betting a hundred dollars in the regular season just to come out with 180 on them but conference winner could this be the year plus 800 that's something you might want to sprinkle some money on uh stage of elimination buffalo bills again let's see where the bills lie here to lose in the divisional round plus 450 to losing the conference championship game plus 650 to lose to in the Super Bowl, not a horrible betting odd there, plus 1,200 to get it exactly right. And the number one seed for them, because they're going to take the regular season very, very seriously at plus 800 to me. If their division wasn't so hard, I would definitely would like look at that and say, hey, that's a, that's a team that I want to uh, put money on. But their schedule is hard, nine and a half over under, for the Bills. The Bills are like, man, I feel bad for them. You know, they're playing a first place schedule and they start off the season in Arizona at Miami, Jacksonville, at Baltimore, at Houston, at New York. Like, there is so many gauntlets on the schedule. This team is just going to have to fight its way to a 10 and 7, 11 and 6 record. But every week is going to be, they're going to have a target on their back. Josh Allen is obviously one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL. And people are just in love with the Buffalo Bills. People like no one wants to see the Buffalo Bills fail because it's been so long. It's been so hard. It's been so difficult for them to ever, ever, ever get anywhere. Let's see their team specials. Um, let's see player stats first, Sam Darnold. Let's look at Josh Allen here. Um, 3,750 yards minus 120, zero value in that, um, stat leaders. Let's look at this most regular season passing yards, Josh Allen at plus 1800. I know he lost his, uh, best receiver in Stefan Diggs, but he's going to be able to get the ball rolling. But that weather scares me there. Um, the, the most rush TDs, of course, he's not going to lead the league in that, but, um, in general, there, it's hard because the Buffalo bills are such a team that people like, it's really hard to find a place kind of like this one, Josh Allen, most interceptions thrown in a season. Josh Allen is a little bit of a gunslinger to say the least. That's one bet I like at plus 800 is Josh Allen with the most, who, by the way, love Josh Allen, but he does, he is a little bit of Brett Favre where he does throw the ball around quite a bit. This is something I would look at as my favorite bet between them. Um, let's see, division specials. Not much here with them. Most divi division, most wins. AFC East plus 500. Kind of love that. But overall, yeah, man, it's it's hard with this team. The Buffalo Bills are really good. I know that. But the numbers are just too much. A score a touchdown in every game plus 100. Can This one could be okay. To throw a passing touchdown in every game, I do not mind this one. I could see Josh Allen throwing a passing touchdown in every regular season game. And in overall, though, just not a team you necessarily want to lay too many bets on because of how good they are. This is no disrespect to them. This is more of a respect to them. People love the Buffalo Bills. So overall, I actually think they'll win the division again. But just be careful placing too many bets on the Buffalo Bills.